Welcome to the weekly dose of Amuna for Shabbat Kodesh. Today we're going to continue to talk about the Neshama Yitera, how it emanates from Hashem's heavenly treasure box. Hashem's heavenly treasure house is called Shabbat. And so too, the Neshama Yitera is called Shabbat. In Hashem's treasure house, sadness does not exist. Only joy and gladness live there. So therefore Hashem said that on Shabbat, the Jewish home should be free of grief and stress and anxiety because the Neshama Yitera cannot take all that heartbreak and all that sadness and misery. It becomes like a, all tied up in a gloomy person. So therefore, Chazal teach us to not talk about business affairs on Shabbat because this hurts the Neshama Yitera, which comes from the higher world, as the Or Chaim writes, where all of the mundane matters of this world simply don't exist. We have to create an environment in our homes that allows the, Shab the, the Neshama Yitera to really feel like it's welcomed and it's in, uh, inside a home that makes it feel very comfortable. As well, we have to understand that on Shabbat, the name of Hashem radiates like a big stream of holy light. And the holy light goes deep into every Jewish soul. And every person receives as much of this light as he could possibly absorb. This is the holy light that's called the additional soul, the Neshama Yitera. It descends from the realm of tranquility, of absolute rest, where there's no labor, there's no, no anxiety, and therefore a person who works on, on Shabbat Kodesh, unfortunately, he breaks off from this additional soul. He breaks off from that additional soul that is tied into total tran tranquility. And that's why his punishment is karet a spiritual severance whereby his soul is cut off from its root in, in Shemaim. But yet, when a person honors and he takes delight in Shabbat and he davens and he learns and refrains from doing all the things that go against the spirit of Shabbat, he heightens, he illuminates the radiance of Shabbat. He himself created that holiness for Shabbat. As the Navi Micha says, but as for me, I was filled with the strength by the spirit of Hashem. So taking delight of Shabbat Kodesh, taking delight in being there with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is truly a delight of the soul. Every Jew receives a Neshama Yitera on Shabbat. And the energy of that neshama depends on the good deeds that we performed the, the previous week. The more we increase in delight on Shabbat, the greater it is that we get the neshama yitera. And the more time a person adds to Shabbat, starting it early on Friday afternoon and ending it later on Motei Shabbat, the greater will be his neshama, his neshama yitera. There's no greater benefit than to receive that added Kedusha of the Neshama Yitara every Shabbat Kodesh. It raises the intensity of Kedusha through the Neshama Yitara. In other words, we get raised the amount of Kedusha that envelops us throughout the entire Shabbat. And Hashem says that Neshama Yitara that contains, just as our regular Neshama, it contains an added particle of a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And the Midrash says that the joy of Shabbat gives that person, every Jewish person, a special glow. The Neshama Yitera increases the radiance to even a higher degree than what he has throughout the work week. And so Be'ezrat Hashem, this Shabbat Kodesh will envelop ourselves with that glow, we'll feel that extra spiritual sensitivity, and we'll realize what a benefit we have received from Hashem's special treasure house, the Neshama Yitera. Have a wonderful Shabbat.